The reason why, why I was able to get through was because I know I was crystal clear why I started my business. One of the things that I always ask my you know, coaching clients do, students do, is figure out the why. Knowing why they start something is so important because without that why, you have so many excuses. One of the exercises that you can do is to have a day or sometime that is completely no distraction. Go into a room, go to a park, whatever, get your notebook, get your pen and paper. If you want to have some music, just have no distraction. And keep asking yourself the question, what is it that I want in my life? Keep writing it down your answers. And what you find out is at the beginning, maybe, maybe you write down, oh, I want to buy this car. Maybe I want to buy this bag, a pair of shoes, da, da, da. Keep going. Keep writing it down. Keep going down. The more, the better. Keep writing after 50. Keep writing down to 100. You find that eventually you get rid of all those service people, things that are on the service, and you get to the deep stuff. Eventually, you get to that point. And when you keep writing to a point that, hey, you start to feel it in your heart, you feel it, or maybe even cry, that is where you find your real why. Some people may not get it the first time, and that is okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's a process. Some people get it faster, and some people might just have today. Hey, today, I didn't quite get that far. And that's okay. Just come back another time. You want to be in more relaxed and not, not like punishing yourself. But, you know, just really be open up your mind because and your heart, because it's not a, it's not a logical exercise. It's more like you're trying to listen to what is inside, inside of yourself. Another tip though, is also other than that exercise, you can look into your passion and your passion, according to Oprah, your passion can lead to your purpose. And a lot of times your purpose, it's like your calling. It would go back to, likely will go back to the same place. So do dig into that a little bit more and give yourself some grace. It might not be something that just, you know, happened. And over the time, right, it could be at the beginning, you just write down something that is not so deep, but your why actually would evolve as you grow. Like I said earlier, your full potential is growing. So your why will also expand as you grow. So right now, if you don't have, you don't feel like it's the full answer, that's completely okay. It will continue to grow and evolve. So I have this one philosophy. This is a philosophy as well as a quote, is dream big, start small and act now. Because I believe everyone has amazing potential. The sky is the limit, but you have to dream big. You have to know that the first step of achieving your dreams is actually dream it. Because if you're not brave enough to even dream it, it will never happen in your life. Anything significant that is happening in your life is because you have ever dreamt about it. And that is why you planted that seed and then you went for it. So dream big is the first step. Start small is because a lot of people think that success, success is zero to a hundred, but it's not. Mm. It's that tiny, tiny little steps every single day that you take, being consistent, being persistent and growing and doing, executing. So it's starting small. Oftentimes people think that they have to do this huge thing, then they will procrastinate, they get scared because they're thinking they need to start really big, but no, start small. Just take that tiny step every single day, take a baby step today and take another baby step tomorrow. That's how you achieve success. And then of course, at now, because now is what we ever only have. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow is not here. So today is the day. I think the professional syndrome is something that sometimes stop people from reaching their full potential. Mm. maybe you have that I also have that I'm like super picky but in some ways it's good too because then we do the best we can we do the best quality of work that we possibly can but it also can hold us back so being done is better than perfect but not done yeah taking that baby steps to reach your full potential mm -hmm.